Hi, I am going to go over quickly how you might use test and quizzes to put out a survey to your students. So just like a normal test and quiz, first thing you would do is type in the title for the assessment. Then what you want to look for is under the assessment type, go ahead and pick survey, and then click the create button. From here, um, what you want to do is add a question and that question type will also be survey. What survey type allows is for students to answer with these following answer types. So you could choose yes or no, you could give them the disagree agree option, disagree undecided agree, um, there's some scales from below average to above average, strongly degree, disagree to strongly agree, unacceptable to excellent, 1 through 5, 1 through 10. So just like a uh, regular question, just go ahead and put in the uh, questions that you have. And then select one of these answer types and we'll just go ahead and I'll show you what the below average to above average would look like and then click save. So you can see here it's the three option range. Um, if you don't like that you can just click the edit link for this question, choose another one, maybe we'll do strongly disagree to strongly agree and then go ahead and click save. So this one gives you five options strongly disagree, disagree, undecided, agree, and strongly agree. Um, there isn't a way to, within this question, allow feedback specific to it. So what I would go ahead and do is add another question type and do a short answer essay. And then in the question, you can just refer back to the previous um, scaled question and say, you know, something like, why do you feel this way? and click save and now this will give them the opportunity if they want to respond to why they answered the previous question that way. Since it's a survey I would just go ahead and leave all of the point values at zero this way they don't affect the gradebook. And one last thing before publishing is under settings under assessment organization I would go ahead and set it to the complete assessment is displayed on one web page. And that way, when they answer questions, they don't have to answer one question of the survey, click the next button, answer the next one, click the next button, and so on. Everything will be displayed on the same page. So if we check that and do save settings, and now if we preview, you can see that the question and then their reasoning for that question are displayed on the same page. So that's it. Everything else about testing quizzes is the same as far as um, start dates and end dates and publishing and all that. Um, so I hope that helps. Thanks.